anxiety spell jar. First cleanse the bottle, add salt, coffee, lavender, chives, pine, rosemary, a sage leaf, and a bay leaf with your intentions written on it. Seal the bottle with candle wax and place in the dark area of the room. just amuses me so much that all the sweet old ladies I chat with at Hobby Lobby have no idea what the jars I'm bringing home are going to become. A lot of you may be having some anxiety about returning back to school like I am so here is a spell jar to help you out with that. So you're first going to want to start by cleansing your jar. Lavender for peace of mind. Marigold for strength. Fluorite for protection. I always add my own ingredient to make sure that my spells work the best for me. Fill the rest of the way with moon water. Set your intentions and put the cap back on. Seal it with a blue candle to promote healing and calming energy. And you're done. You can leave this somewhere or put it in the kitchen and wear it on your neck. As she stands there singing for money.
yo witchy bitch be making some rusty nails for her witchy bottle and this is hydrogen peroxide and vinegar for about five minutes and here's the result after 20 minutes bruh I guess I'm dressed to play a date to you I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Bad for me, one hit, bad for me, one kiss, bad for me, but I give in so easily, and no thank you, is how it should have gone, I should stay strong, but I'm weak. Hey guys, I saw this comment and I wanted to show you how to make a protection jar with just household items. First, cleanse your jar. Please don't mind my mortar and pestle, it has seen better days. Wait, we got some black pepper, red pepper flakes, cloves, rosemary, eggshells. You don't need it, but if you have it, it will be a beneficial ingredient. We're going to muddle it up. Add your mixture to your jar. Okay, I added a protection rune on a bay leaf. This is a protection rune. Um, I filled it with intention oil. So all of you have intention oil. All you do is you take whatever oil you have in the house, hold it in your hands, and set an intention. I like to add oil to my spells because I think it magnifies the spell. Also, if you have some sort of talisman or a pentacle, you can tie it around with some type of string or rope. Knot magic is very powerful and easy to perform. Love is just a history that they may prove and when you're gone I'll tell them my religions when punk just come to kill the king upon his throne I'm ready for their stones I'll 